Did the grasshoppers think through how other animals would avoid it if it looked more camouflage? Did it know how to genetically engineer itself to express those colors? Did a polar bear engineer its own white coat? No, but that's not what evolutionists believe. They think that these changes happen randomly in the DNA, influencing an individual's survivability. Evolution is a blind process, no offense. Intelligent choices supposedly have nothing to do with it. Evolutionists believe natural selection figured out how to design an eye. But how? It would have to build and preserve over who knows how many generations hundreds of complicated interacting eye parts, including proteins that were all useless until the whole package was eventually assembled. How'd it know to engineer animals for flight? Or a navigation system so tiny it can fit in the head of a monarch butterfly, which is smaller than a pin? How'd it wire a human brain that's far more complicated than our best computers if it is a totally blind process with no goal or purpose in view? You're right. Natural selection is just a process. It doesn't have a brain. It can't think or design. It had no foreknowledge of what it was trying to accomplish. And yet, coupled with mutations, it's been assigned godlike powers to create things way beyond man's understanding. Yes! It's like they've replaced God's power with random mutations and natural selection. As the textbook points out, it favors a creature's overall ability to survive, but the actual changes are happening deep down in the creature on a microscopic level inside the genes. Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying that when certain individuals die, all their genes just go away? Meaning that natural selection has no power in selecting individual genes? Well, it can't see genes, just whole organisms.